uh, welcome back uh, to mobile electronic diagnostic uh, I say thank you for all my followers and subscribers for supporting uh, my channel uh, I was reading on uh, a comment and I see uh, here uh, one day ago Mr. B. Polar he asked me about he have E90 318i crank but will not start and he have all those codes I'm just trying to give you some example some information about this code the first one A6CF A6CF is for there is a sensor under the hood and that sensor is just sitting in front of the cabin filter the filter that clean the air when you put the AC or air condition inside the car there is a button with a recycling uh, light or regular light if you put if this sen the sensor this sensor when it go bad it will give you this code and the sensor job is to sense the pollution or the air outside air if the air outside have some pollution like while you are putting the AC on and you park your car next to another car that have a lot of smoke come out of the muffler that sensor will send signal to the climate control and it will shut down the fresh you know the fresh air that the fresh air uh, system that is coming for the air that come from outside it will close it and it will make the air recycle inside only when the air outside is clean and pure then it will release it again and open that's for the a 6 cf the other one is ad1 is also for the auxiliary electrical water pump that push the push the antifreeze or the water to the hero core to heat it up for you in the winter time now the 2a61 is supposed to be 2A61 and 2A63. This is for Vanos, the Vanos or the X Century. When you start the car, like the car is sounding like a big noise, like, like an engine noise, that's what it is. And this job here is very, very big job. You have to take the uh, the intake, you know, like the intake manifold out, valve cover gasket out, and then you have to deal with it by putting the, you know, the the, the camshaft in a, a certain position. Now, the last, the one before is 2F44 is related to EWS manipulation and that have a certain procedure you have to do it. If your key is good, the car crank and will not start. You need to see if you can reset it or relearn it the way I do it on that car. The last one, A0B4, yeah, A0B4, is like the big cable that from the battery sometimes they get disconnected or or the car like you want to start but the, the, the power battery especially for those car that they have accident it have a small igniter on the on uh, like airbag uh, ignition or igniter when this happen it will disconnect the battery from the star so the car will not start or something like that. You need to check the battery terminal and be sure it's good. Delete all those code and see which code come back while you're cranking. But I believe when the battery go dead or anything happen, maybe the car crank, it will not start. Also try to check your injectors, uh, fuel pump pressure, all this stuff. But if you have 2F44, you may need to check that one also because the car will crank, but it will not start for the anti-theft issue. This is what I can tell you about it now and i really appreciate your trust and asking question i will do my best to answer also um, i will say to abdullah sharif thank you and thank you for your dua and uh, also eight power zero thank you very much and also nabog ds uh, one day ago he asked me about uh, the usb thank you i have same car the usb plug connector connect and disconnect yeah 
if this is the car for four focus on USB, you need to check maybe from the radio or maybe the USB connector itself is no good. Try to check it and be sure that they are okay and change the cable that you have it. Okay, I have uh, another friend. He called me from today. Yeah, this is for the diesel engine, my lens. Thank you for your information. Okay, Abdul uh, Muhammad Hamush, thank you very much. Okay. He said when, when replacing the ECM, the key registration come before VIN writing. The VIN writing initially failed because you, you inverse the procedures. Um, in this case, uh, I don't believe so because sometimes you buy the key, for, you buy a brand new computer from the dealer and you start it and, and uh, you start right away and then you write the VIN number one. Also, some cars, they don't accept used uh, used uh, computer also uh, locksmiths most of the time they just program the key and the car start later on they change the VIN number um, Benjamin thank you very much okay Joseph fix that car quick school is coming okay he asked me where I can get this part for programming the Mercedes-Benz unlocking Mercedes-Benz transmission and I put a link here you can go to uh, LA car tech and this is the part this is where this like a, you, you use it as a Bluetooth you connect it to the OBD2 and then it read you can use your cell phone to erase access but they charge $50 anytime you unlock a computer or tell if you know how to do it it may not ask you all this okay uh, thank you Musa Badur okay. Okay, all the people that I see them or I didn't see them, I really appreciate. Okay, Francois from Argentina, thank you very much. I say hello to all the people there. Okay, he asked me where he gonna buy this. Uh, Fred, he asked me where I can get this this item here. I'm gonna copy this link and I, I give it to you. I don't know why I don't want to copy. Okay. Where is that? I'm going to do it later. Okay, here. Okay, I'm going to put edge here. Hopefully we'll, you will get it. This is where you get this the same the same piece. Thank you, Abdullah Sharif, and Malay. Thank you for sharing all your information. I'll see you in another video. Hopefully that information for BMW will help a little bit. And see you in another video. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, share, and like.